Hi, my name is Dr. Jason Hockfelder with Hudson Valley Bone and Joint Surgeons. I'm a hip and knee replacement doctor, and today I'm gonna to answer one of the common questions that I get asked all the time, which is, will my new hip or knee last forever? The short answer is maybe, but the long answer, let me just start with the story. Every day in my office, I get patients who had knees or hips done years and years ago, 15, 20 years ago, and they were told that their hip or knee would only last them for about 10 or 15 years. So they're coming to me to have it redone. But then I ask them, well, does your hip hurt you or does your knee hurt you? And the answer is usually no. And then we take an x-ray which shows a well-positioned uh, knee replacement or a well-positioned hip replacement. And so I get to be the bearer of good news saying, hey, your hip and knee is fine and hopefully it'll last you forever. The moral of the story is that most hip replacements and knee replacements are actually lasting a lot longer than we ever thought possible. Even knees and hips that were done years ago are still lasting uh, to this date. Of course, any operation has risks and there's certain things that happen at very small rates like infection or the implant prematurely becoming loose from bone, uh, which could cause anyone even today to have a to need their knee or hip redone at an earlier time. However, barring any of these really rare complications, most people who have a hip or knee done today, it will last forever. Many of the complications that we saw in the past, such as inferior pieces of plastic, and you can see that there's a plastic piece in here, this is a knee replacement, or in here, which is a hip replacement. Uh, many of these pieces that uh, years ago were made out of inferior materials would wear out. Today, we're finding that these plastic pieces are lasting more and more and longer and longer. In addition, we have a lot of new technology that allows us to put these implants in in a lot more accurate positions. With hip replacements, we have the anterior approach that allows us to use x-ray guidance to put them in. And with knee replacements, we have things like robotic surgery and 3D printing, which allows us to do those more accurately. Uh, in addition, the cementing techniques that we use to cement the implants for a knee replacement to the bone, or the actual technology that we have that actually causes the bone in a hip replacement to actually grow into the implant is a lot better than it used to be. So for all these reasons, I tell most of my patients that their knee or their hip is likely to last them forever. Even young patients, sometimes we have patients that are really young in their 40s and 50s that you know years ago were told that they were too young to have their knee or their hip replaced. To those people, I point to a lot of data that we have, even on really young patients that were done 30 or 40 years ago with those inferior techniques, with the inferior implants, that their implants are still lasting. So for those young people, I say, if young people from years ago still have their knee or their hip in, well, with all this new technology, with all the new implants, with the new techniques that we have, it's more likely that even for a young person that they shouldn't need to go on suffering for years and years and they should have the proper operation that's gonna get them back and restore their life and allow them to do what they wanna do. So in summary, what I tell most people is that of course any operation does have risks involved, but many of the risks associated with hip and knee replacements have really been mitigated and made almost uh, insignificant. So for most people, I would say that if you have your, your hip or your knee replaced today, no matter how old you are, almost certainly it will last you forever.